Hi there, Joe Fernandez here, and I'll be going over how to dominate RMP as an arms warrior. I'll be using footage from Zray, who's played Turbo and Warrior DH at nearly 3.3k rating, beating some of the best teams in the world. If you're interested in checking more of his gameplay out, feel free to watch his stream. Arms warriors played at a high level can do excellently into RMP. With the right talents, great awareness and coordination of offensive and defensive cooldowns, you can destroy most RMPs. We'll be going over these key traits in order to have consistent success against RMP. Arms has access to powerful honor talents ideal for peeling an RMP's offensive plays. During most matchups against RMP as Arms, you'll be looking to mainly survive their onslaught and eventually get a win with your passive pressure or when the enemy priest ooms. Due to this, your main honor talents will be the defensive ones, giving you the choice of Duel, Disarm, Spell Reflection, and War Banner. The hard choice is to let one of these go. I personally would take Disarm, Duel, and War Banner, although most combinations of these four honor talents would work and could depend on your ability to use them or simply use whatever is working out best for you. Lizzo personally prefers taking Disarm, Jewel, and Spell Reflection, whereas Ray usually goes for Jewel, Spell Reflection, and War Banner. Give these Honor Talents a try and use them to their full potential before deeming them unworthy. Another awesome Honor Talent that we can use now is Master and Commander. This could be excellent if you know the enemy RMP relies on killing the Arms Warrior, which in turn makes Jewel useless so trading Master and Commander for it can be ideal in that situation. A good RMP usually makes offensive plays to take down you or your partners, which is how they will get their wins. Knowing when they play offensive is key as an Arms Warrior, so you can prepare yourself to peel incoming damage before it's too late. One key point in the game is the opener, as most RMPs will look to have a powerful start trying to force as many cooldowns as possible, or even net a kill on the first move. Peeling this opener is critical, and as the Arms Warrior, if you're free, you should use as many defensive peeling tools as you need in order to survive the opener efficiently. Usually it's best to CC the enemy team and then use other defensive cooldowns if they trinket said CC. In this example, Zray is fighting Method Black's RMP featuring Waz, Raikou, and Chaz. He sits back patiently, waiting for the sap, then preemptively blade storms the cheap shots, allowing him to land his fear on the entire team, relieving them of a crazy amount of pressure. After surviving the opener, you'll need to keep shutting down their offensive plays as much as possible in order to live. Stopping Chain CC is the best way to do this, as it will allow your healer to play the game, in return saving defensive cooldowns, which in turn can save you later if needed. Of course, you don't want to be too greedy either. If you see big offensive cooldowns being used, it will be important to react fast and use defensive cooldowns in order to live the huge burst pressure. Zray does this here by seeing Icy Veins on the mage, then the rogue popping Vendetta, which he instantly uses his die by the sword for. He then stuns Raikou, which stops the follow-up Resheep. Using your personal defensive cooldowns as arms is vital to your team's survival against RMP. Hence why picking Jewel, Disarm, War Banner and Spell Reflection are very solid choices as it adds to your toolkit to stopping the RMP from killing you. Make sure to use these defensive cooldowns or peels either when your healer is in a lot of CC or when the enemy RMP pops those huge offensive cooldowns. Another big part of surviving offensive goes will come down to the use of your trinket. Using it in live or die situations will be critical to beating RMP, so treating your trinket as another great defensive cooldown is usually warranted here. In this offensive go from the RMP, they secure a full sheep on the monk with a frozen orb and tons of pressure onto Zray. He instantly triggers the kidney shot to fear the rogue and disc in order to take less damage, living this offensive go more comfortably. There may come a point where your team is out of defensive cooldowns and you have no trinkets or major abilities to survive the next offensive play from the enemy RMP. 
When this happens, you'll need to preemptively survive with incredible defensive play in order to avoid damage or stop CC so that you and your team can hold on. In order to do that, you'll have to recognize that the RMP will want to go offensive, which is usually when they have CC for your healer. During this go for the RMP, Zray has no Trinket, Die by the Sword, Fear, or Stormbolt ready for this go. His monk also has no Trinket to get out of CC to keep him alive. He knows that as soon as his monk gets into CC, he will be vulnerable and most likely die if he doesn't avoid damage somehow. Zray knowing this will have to make a preemptive play in order to survive their go. Zray does this with a beautiful defensive heroic leap behind the pillar to escape the kidney shot and line of sights the entire team from being able to touch him. This is a game changing move as he went from a position of almost certain death to a position where he lived the RMP's go without using any defensive cooldowns other than the heroic leap. One huge thing that Zray does throughout this game that most casual players wouldn't think about is constantly keeping the rogue in combat, making Waz unable to re-stealth multiple times. This is important because if Waz re-stealths, he can easily set up CC in order to create pressure and more offensive goes from the RMP. As you can see in these three clips, Zray simply keeps Waz in combat by using heroic throw on him. This doesn't do so much damage and won't really be needed for anything else, so Zray being aware that he may drop combat uses this to stop him from re-stealthing so that they have to wait for the next kidney shot or other CC in order to make their offensive play. Now that we know how to dismantle an RMP in order to survive their offense, it's also important to have offensive plays yourself in order to sometimes get kills or mostly run the priest dry out of mana, which is usually a typical win condition. This means playing offensive when possible, trying to create as much pressure as you can in order to force the priest to spend more mana on heals. A good way to do this is with the use of battle stance. It can be scary to use it as you don't want to be caught out and give the RMP a chance to win, but if you time it well and use it properly, it can be hard for the RMP to punish you and you'll gain 20% more damage, making it difficult for the priest to heal through if you keep up the pressure. Here, we can see Zray opt for battle stance during his warbreaker in order to crush the disc priest. He also uses Blaze Storm not only to apply the pressure, but to immune himself from being stunned or sheeped, which is crucial for him to slay the enemy disc. You can also be very disruptive against RMPs by breaking CC yourself. Simply using Avatar or Bladestorm as root breakers to keep up on the disc or rogue allows you to free yourself of CC and increase the damage output of your spec. Spell Reflection is also great for this. Not only could you use it for counter pressure incoming spell damage, but it's ideal for reflecting sheeps on yourself, putting the mage in CC rather than yourself. This allows you to keep up the damage and also reduces the mage's pressure and stop him from controlling the game. During the Dark Archangel from Method Black, Zray uses his spell reflection on an incoming polymorph, not only forcing Raikou to use other CC abilities to peel, but also forces Chaz to dispel him, costing him a lot of his limited mana pool. War Banner is not only a great tool to use defensively, as it can be used offensively to reduce CC on your entire team, as well as give you a speed buff to connect to your target faster. Using this offensively in opportune moments can create opportunities to get kills. Here, Zray is utilizing his battle stance and offensive pressure along with his partner and senses blood in the water now that the enemy disc is nearly oom. After his burst, he sneakily places his war banner behind the pillar out of line of sight of the mage so he can have it up not only making the sheep on his healer half duration, but also allowing him and his Enhance to keep up to the disc and land a kill. Keeping up with these offensive plays puts an RMP behind on defensive cooldowns and also makes it harder for them to play offensively as they may have to play more patient to do so. Remember to stay on top of your defensive plays during all of this, then playing offensively once you are safe from an offensive go. That's all we have for this guide on how to dominate RMP as an arms warrior. 
If you have any questions or comments, make sure to leave them down below. And as always, plus skill this guide if it helped. Thanks for watching and see you on the next guide.